soon as we pulled up, this guy, he looked real pissed. He told us to stop. And then they turned both of these lanes into the opposite way, I guess, because they have a build up of cars. So now we're just waiting. Hopefully it won't take too long. The people who are pulling through, coming the opposite way in our lane, have to get out of their car to go up to the booth. I guess they won't just walk up to the cars. They make everyone get out. So we're just going to wait until they tell us we can go. Oh. Oh, it's Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Wonder what that guy just said to us. He said Nostrovo. Isn't that what you say when you drink? Like, Nostrovo, <clears throat> cheers. Okay. Well, this is unlike anything we've seen in Croatia. It's just a one lane, two direction road. And we haven't really seen any kind of building in a while. And the road, it's not too bad, but it's worse than any road we saw in Croatia. It's pretty bumpy. The good thing about nobody else being here is that it lessens the possibility of a head-on collision. You can't swear about it away because of the landmines. <laughs> 300 meters, turn right. Luckily the GPS knows where we are. Otherwise, I have no idea what the hell we would do. It's all person. He did? Oh, good. Okay. It's refreshing. There are a lot of damaged, abandoned buildings like this that we've seen so far. Not a lot, but... A decent amount. Like six or seven out of the first ten left. total buildings we've seen. Bosnia is the most uh, bombed country in Yugoslavia, and I think they suffered the most deaths also. Ooh. It's unexpected. Follow this road for 30 kilometers, then turn right. 30 kilometers? So I don't know if you can tell here with this video, but every now and then there's like a steep drop off on both sides. When it's just like a two foot drop, then yeah, you're not going to die. Because you can't get your car back up when there's bombs everywhere. Yeah, well you need a tow truck. There's not bombs in like literally every square foot. So for a million still. I mean, they paved the road, so I'm sure that like there are bombs cleared on the sides of the road. Like workers had to come in here and lay the road down. Although the road was probably here before the war, so there could be bombs <laughs> in the road. <laughs> We're the first car that came through here since the war, probably. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. <laughs> here, this is what I'm talking about. When it's like a bridge of just road. So Justin and I just saw a rather large town, or so we thought. Called Polhise. 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 There was like maybe 40 homes that we saw from afar up on like the cliffside. And we're both really super hungry. So um, we were excited when we saw that from afar. And then when we drove past, I wish we should have videotaped it. Yeah. Each one, each one was abandoned. Yeah, there wasn't a single human in that town. So we've driven through maybe like four or five towns and they're all ghost towns. It's very I saw two sad. humans so far since we left the, the border area crossing into Bosnia. One woman was just randomly walking and another guy was like near his house, I guess. And we've been driving for probably like 45 minutes or an hour. Yeah. Very sad. So I guess like all these people fled for the war and now they're like in cities. And like just this has all been abandoned. Yeah. Well, uh, we were reading before that um, during the war a lot of homes were rigged with um, bombs and things 
that when you open up the door it would trigger an explosion. So I guess a lot of people were fearful of even entering their home. And I, do you blame them? <laughs> but, I mean, oh, look. Road bridge. Here. Drop off. Drop off. Drop off. That one has a little bit of a guard around. Yeah, this does have something. But that won't stop you. That will just launch you higher <laughs> as you fly off the side of the road. This one has power lines going up to it, though. That's true. We saw utility poles before that were stripped bare. I guess people, like, took the wiring. Uh, so the, that there are power lines here sort of means maybe that there's like, something in use up there currently. Good point. It's hard to tell right now. It's it's really bizarre that this is Europe. You know, this is not what you think of ever when you think of Europe or what you see ever in Europe. This is like a part of Europe that most people don't realize exists or just don't think about it existing. There's a town up ahead, <clears throat> seemingly, but I think I saw a few things that were reflecting back like a car or two. This road has been no over worries. 30 kilometers long. Yeah, just this stretch. Two-way two two way traffic, although there was not a single oncoming car, which is a good thing. I see a house with uh, umbrellas in the front. I think that's a restaurant, babe. We can eat. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there, there are people there. Oh my god, there's people. Should I stop? Yes. Absolutely. Alright, so we finally arrived to a place that we could eat. And it's very welcoming here. You know, they speak decent English. They're friendly. They uh, are playing Metallica. <laughs> there's a trip advisor sign in the window. Uh, we weren't sure what to expect because since we crossed the border until we got here, we didn't like see anything. Um, but. Good to be here now. Yeah. And they also accept the currency that we have. Yeah. So we ordered shabapchaji for my whatever this is, breakfast slash lunch. Um, it's a Bosnian dish. We had it a couple times in Croatia and it was not good. But it was really good here. So I guess it truly is a Bosnian thing. Alright, so this is the view of the area that we just eat at. It was like a diamond in the rough. It was exquisitely beautiful. That's a very, very apt way of describing it. Normally that phrase is not as fitting as it is now, but it is, it is a diamond in the rough. It was beautiful. Like the bathrooms were just like beautiful marble. And it was super good. Spectacular. And it was pretty cheap, wasn't it? It was like 15 bucks. Very pretty. We're on. A road, two-way road. All right, things are looking up. We are just arriving in the town of Blage, which we've been pronouncing Blagage until now. Sorry, I can't stop here. <laughs> um, and there's a fort here, which is that on top of the hill. There's also a monastery which we were seeing signs for, but I haven't seen a sign for in a while. Too much. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah. Two kilometers. This is also a pretty big town. In 700 meters, you are arriving at your destination. Nice. And we still don't have any local currency. So hopefully they accept kuna or euro or dollars. Or credit. <laughs> or your body. <laughs> My firstborn. <laughs> Alright, so this is the entrance to Blagai Tekia. Uh, that may or may not be pronounced correctly. This is um, a monastery that was built for the Dervish cult. What's a Dervish cult? I don't know. Oh, Does that have on. anything to do with air conditioning? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's hot. It is really hot here. I think this is the hottest point of the whole trip. I can't. There's like, even when there's like a gust of wind, it like burns. <laughs> oh, 
So here's a view of the monastery from the other side of the water, which is probably the better view. Looks really cool. Underneath this giant cave. And we're gonna do this boat tour into the cave. Which I guess they just pull you along the rope. Water is like perfect turquoise. Yeah. You can't Colors. see through it. And Colors are really nice. Beautiful. so much better in here. So I can give you some info about this river, this cave. Okay. So this river is the biggest spring of drinking water in Europe. Like the 43,000 liters in one second goes out. Temperature of the water is 8 degrees. It's really cold wow. and drinkable. And this whole town of I drinks this water. So if you want, you can even try it from here. It's good to drink. You feel better now that you're not in the heat? Much better. That's nice water. Life is much better. This is a really nice looking restaurant. Yeah, it's really refreshing and cute. So we just drove to the top of a hill to the Blagai Fort. The closest we can drive is at this point. And that's the fort up there. We're, we kind of want to do it but we have no water and it's extremely hot. And also, as we said before, um, there are exploded, unexploded landmines all over the country. So you have to stick to paved roads or like marked trails. And I mean, this kind of looks like a marked trail. And I'm also assuming that there wouldn't be any ex unexploded landmines right next to a site like this. But the combination of that risk and the heat, for me, mainly the heat. Lack of water for me. Yeah, we're gonna skip this one. Plus we just came from Dubrovnik and there's no way this is gonna top that. So we'll see Blog Eye Fort next time we're in Blog Eye. <laughs> we'll video Blog Eye it then.